let me just make something very clear. We do not claim you as Liverpool fans if you are saying stuff like, oh, Klopp out, all players out. I was in the build-up to the Liverpool Jurgen Klopp press conference uh, for the Fulham game, which I think is still live at the time of recording. And the amount of people in there saying Klopp out is ridiculous. One bad season and you're turning on him. How much more plastic can you get? Look at everything he's done for us. He got us our first league title in 30 years. He got us our sixth Champions League trophy. He won us the Super Cup. I mean, we were the, literally the, the world champions when we won the club World Cup. We, we reached three European finals. Yeah, I know we lost two of them, but even reaching the final is a massive achievement. I get that Mane was shit against Chelsea. And yes, he definitely should have come off. But there are loads of people saying Mane out. Do I agree? No. You don't turn on your players like that. You, you just don't do that. It's alright to tell him he had a shit game. Like, what were you doing? Because that probably was the worst performance I've ever seen from Mane in a Liverpool shirt. But am I going to turn on him and say I want him gone? No. Because I know what he is capable of. And you can't just blame Mane. Because they were all poor. Against Chelsea, with the exception of a few. Trent wasn't poor. Jota wasn't poor when he came on. Alisson really wasn't that poor, besides that mistake for the offside Werner goal, which I think was a little bit harsh, to be honest. Fabinho was poor, and the people turned on him. Nat Phillips is rumoured to be out for the rest of the season, which is just what we need. We're now down to just three people who can play at centre-half for the rest of the season. If we hadn't have brought Ka back in, it would have been Ka it would have been Fabinho and Reese Williams playing at centre-half. Week in, week out. And when Fabinho got injured, who knows who would have gone in defence? We've had to put, bring someone from the youth academy or put Thiago in defence or something. So although Kabak wasn't brilliant against Chelsea, he's been a revelation for us and ultimately he saved our back line. While we were while we were poor against Chelsea in an attacking sense. I still feel like the, the midfield was at least trying to get forward. Now, Jurgen Klopp is a, is a great manager, okay? I know before you say I'm not going to say Klopp out because I'm not plastic, okay? Jurgen Klopp is a great manager, okay? But he needs to make the right substitutions. He either makes the wrong substitutions at the right time or the right substitutions at the wrong time. Like bringing on Divock Origi in the 87th minute against Everton. He's not going to do anything, is he? Now, by the way, Everton are three points ahead of us with a game in hand. We're seventh in the table. Top four is pretty much gone. But against Fulham, we have to start with... Well, this is the team we should play against Fulham. Of course, Alisson should start. We should go with the only available back four we've got now, realistically, which is Robertson, Fabinho, Kabak and Alexander-Arnold. OK? The, only, the, the midfield three has to stay the same as it was. Wijnaldum, Jones and Thiago. If he rotates that against Fulham, it will not work. Now, this is what we should do again in the attacking sense. Salah should start, Firmino should start, and Jota should start. Mane should be on the bench. He needs a break. He looked really burnt out against Chelsea. 
to the point where his first touches were poor, his passes were poor, he was trying to win petty fouls, missing sitters. Like that chance in the first half when it was brilliantly picked out by us, I think it might have been, was it Alexander Arnold? I can't remember. But someone brilliantly picked him out in the box and he scuffed his shot completely. He was one on one with the keeper. It was the only real attacking quality we showed in that game. And that was the biggest chance that we had. And he didn't even kick the ball. He, he swung at it and missed it. Now, let me tell you, if that was Jota in that position, that was going in. If that's Firmino in that position, that's in. If that's Salah in that position, that's in. If that's Thiago, Ronaldo, Jones in that position, that's in. And it should have gone in. You expect Mane to score from there. But he didn't. Now, before you say, Oh, look, you're blessed that you want players benched. Saying you want players benched for a game is not plastic. Saying you want players out because of one really bad game is plastic. And that is not what I'm going to do. The only players that should leave the club this summer are the injury-prone ones, like Joel Matip and potentially Oxlade-Chamberlain. And Origi because he needs game time. But even if a player was playing ridiculously badly, like for example, Adrian in that seven-two defeat to Aston Villa, we we still know what they're capable of, and Adrian proved it against Sheffield United. The only thing that we can take out of that game, the only positive is that we can think, oh well, it's just because Chelsea have got a new manager, you know, we've got them playing a really good system. Um, we, we, we will hopefully be back against Fulham. That's the only thing that we can take from that game, is that Chelsea played well. They outplayed us. They had a better system. <clears throat> Fucking brilliant finish, by the way, from Mason Mount. Gotta say. That's the, the, that's the only positive that we can take from that game, is that the midfield wasn't poor. <clears throat> and I don't understand why he decided in the 61st minute to take off arguably his best attacker. You're in need of a goal. He was looking dangerous, so you bring him off. I mean, yeah, he brought Jota on for him, but it should have been Mane going off. Can you imagine, if, if Jota, Firmino and Salah would have been in that front line, we would have equalised. Guarantee it, because Salah was getting into dangerous positions, he was, looking da he was looking dangerous, he was looking threatening. He was starting to get to a point where Chilwell was struggling to handle him, and then he takes him off. Yet Mane gets a full 90 minutes. Klopp has to realise that you can't just let players stay on. Because of name. You can't say, oh look, it's Sadio Mane, I can't take him off. You've got to be more like, Sadio Mane's been shit, he's got to come off. But instead he was like, look how well Mo Salah's doing, off. That's more like what Klopp did. But... In absolutely no way, shape or form... Do I want any of these players out of the club? And anyone who does want these players out of the club should leave the club themselves. Real Liverpool fans will love them no matter what they're going through. Yes, this is our worst ever league home run. Does it mean I'm going to stop supporting them? Absolutely not. You can't just quit supporting a football team because they're not doing well. That is the definition of glory hunter. Do I think we should have been awarded a penalty? I don't. I think it was harsh. And we can look at the Fulham game, yeah, and we can say that the goal was wrongfully disallowed, but they're different officials. That's their own fault. We should... His hands... Hang on. His hands were like that. 
I think it would have been very harsh to award a penalty. Do I think Werner's goal was offside? Just. Just. I thought I thought it was well onside at first. I, I was like, oh my god, look, we're one 0 down already, and it's the fucking t it's fucking Timo Werner that scored against us. Because I thought Robertson was playing him onside. And when they are ruled it offside, I had another look. And I was surprised, definitely, but I was also kind of I don't know. I think I was just surprised, really, that it got ruled offside. Uh, it is offside, ever so slightly. Like I said, it is harsh. But we've had worse. We, we have had worse offside calls. Like last season, Firmino away at Aston Villa. Offside by an armpit. But I think that we should just focus on finishing as high as we can this season. Put all of our eggs into the Champions League basket. <coughs> Excuse me. Call this season a write-off. All right. Don't don't try too hard now with the Premier League. We're not going to win it. We're probably not going to get top four. Don't focus on it. All our eggs need to go in the Champions League basket now because realistically, that's our only hope of top four now. I still think they could do it on the European stage because they still feel like they've got a chance on the European stage. And I think the only, the only explanation for our recent terrible form is that they've given up. And that's the only explanation for it. Now, personally, I don't think Alisson should have played against Chelsea. And I'm not saying it very badly, because he didn't. But he's recently lost his father. And I think he needed a bit more time to himself and to stay in contact with his brother and his mum. I'm not saying that Avjan would have done any better. But Ad Alisson did clearly look a bit down, unsurprisingly. Like there was one time in the, I think it was the first half, where he got the ball played back to him and he just completely missed it and he had to run back and get it. Obviously I'm glad he played, but I don't think he should have. Another thing that I'll point out is I think it's a good thing that Jota didn't start because I think he probably just got injured again. But he, ha but he now has to start against Fulham. There's no other option, he has to start against Fulham now. And the good thing is that with the return of Diogo Jota, now we can rotate the front three. Of course, you've still got to start two of them with Jota. But every week, I would rotate a different member of the front. And then have, say... Wrong. One sec. One week, play Jota, Firmino, Salah. One week, play Mane, Salah, Jota. One week, play Mane, Firmino, Jota. And then one week, play the front three. And get Jota off the bench. Personally, I think this weekend against Fulham, it should be Mane that's rested, as I've said a number of times in this video. And then who have we got after that? Who have we got after Fulham? I, th I think it's an away game. Uh, yeah, Wolves away. So uh, for Wolves away, I would rest Firmino. Get Mane, Salah, Jota. And then for Arsenal away, I'd probably play the front three. And then for Aston Villa at home, rest Salah. Go for Mane, Firmino, Jota. 
leads away, go back to rest in Mane. Because now you can rotate them. And the I think... I would have personally rested Robertson against Sheffield United. And I think he might have done. But Samikas is injured again. I'm all ready to say it now. Samikas is already a flop. He's been injured like four times already. He was named Greek player of the year and he was like he was meant to come in and be like the best backup left back in the Premier League. And he's been injured about four hundred and sixty five times already and it's only the halfway through the season, or just over halfway through the season. We need reinforcements in the summer. We've had some positive transfer news uh, regarding the Kylian Mbappe situation. Um, if it is to be believed, Kylian Mbappe's preferred destination is the Premier League. And the only Premier League club that he's interested in joining is Liverpool. That's brilliant news. But will he want to join the Europa League side? Absolutely not. Or will he want it to come to a Europa League side and help them back to the Champions League? Would Kylian Mbappe want to do that? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Another player that we've been linked with is Raphael Varane. Um, I don't really think we need another centre-half next season. If we could get one now, to use now, I'd love that. <laughs> but we can't because the transfer window is closed. But we're going to have Van Dijk back. We're going to have... Um, maybe Matt it back then if he's going to leave in the summer. We're going to have Gomez back. We're going to get Kabak permanently, hopefully. Fabinho and Henderson can play in defence. Nat Phillips as well. And Rhys Williams. So we're going to have plenty of options. So I don't personally think we need another centre-half just yet. Um, and plus you've got way too many centre-halves then to rotate every week. Because let's be honest, he's not going to rotate Van Dijk, is he? He's, when Van Dijk's fit, he's starting every week. Let's be honest. Now, if Van Dyke could play again this season, that would be a massive boost defensively. But I don't think he will. Like I said, all our eggs now have to be in the Champions League basket. But with the squad that we've got at the minute and the amount of injuries that we've got, I don't think we really have a chance. We should comfortably now get past Leipzig. I don't know who we can draw in the Champions League quarter-final, but if we were to get Bayern Munich, that would be it. They would easily tear through that makeshift defence. Easily. And if that Fabinho performance is anything to go by, I'm not looking forward to it. But yeah, this is just like a little message to all the, f all the plastic fans out there. We don't want you as Liverpool fans if, you, if you're saying Klopp out or... Players, get, get get this person out or Oh look at this, I'm gonna stop supporting us, you know, we're shit, come back to me when we're when we're playing well. We don't want them kind of fans. We want loyal fans. We want real fans. I am not saying you have to be happy after every game, whether we win four 0 whether we lose four 0 whether we win nine 0 whether we lose nine 0 I'm not saying you have to go, oh, well, it's only a game at the end of the day, you know. There's so many positives to go. We don't need to do that. It's all right to be, a, it's all right to be annoyed. It's all right to go, you doing one, eh? What was that? What was that? It's, it's all right to be like that. But what's not all right is Klopp out. Alisson out. Mane out. That's not all right. If it was up to if it was up to me, I would I would say bench Fabinho. But how are we, who are we gonna put in for him? The only thing at the moment going through Fabinho's mind is I want to get back in midfield. That's it. Hey, anyway, I'm gonna end this now because I'm gonna go play some. Uh,
deeper and do some more work and stuff like that. So I'll see you all in a bit. Don't be a plastic. Clop in.